BCTV's Ron Boyden here for another edition of our online interactive weekly video calendar released each Thursday at youtube.com slash TV and brattlebrotv.org where watching with your annotations clicked on in the bottom right corner of your screen allows each of the buttons behind us to be interactive, getting you the where's and when's and websites for each of the community events spotlighted in tonight's this Thursday, September 5th to September 9th edition of our video calendar. We'll start off here and uh, briefly mention that if you click here where it says your event here you can find out how to get your community organization listed as part of our video calendar now uh, on to the board here we'll start by taking a look at friday the 6th it's gallery walk this weekend and that means there'll be oodles of area artists performers entrepreneurs and everyone else gathering up for vermont's epic run of fall foliage first fridays now gallery walk in brattleboro does have its own website so don't hesitate to click the interactive link here to find out how best to entertain your family or friends tomorrow night with a bustling series of downtown events that includes the highly anticipated safe and green sponsored photo exhibit set to unveil three world-class photographers visual documentation of the area's vermont yankee nuclear protest movement entitled taking power photographs from the people's movement to shut down vermont yankee with some beautiful black and whites you can soak up at the elliott street cafe from 5 30 to 8 30 p.m tomorrow or catch a glimpse of right now as part of our video highlight Photos are by three different area photographers and they're going to show the history of the uh, Vermont Yankee anti-nuclear movement. And the photographers will be there, uh, Kate Woolner from Northfield, Mass, and Lionel DeLevine, who's from Stockbridge, Mass, and David and Shaw, David Shaw, who's from, from Dummerston. Dummerston. Next up, no affliction known to humankind demands a more bravery of an individual than dealing with Alzheimer's. And this weekend, the national research leading voluntary health organization, the Alzheimer's Association, will partner with the Brattleboro Retreat to bring its message of support to our community with Brattleboro's 2013 Walk to End Alzheimer's, set to kick off this Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. with a registration on the retreat campus on Linden Street. Find out all about the 2013 Walk in Brattleboro, how to donate, find a walker to sponsor, or form your own team. You can just punch in Brattleboro's own 05301 zip code at alz.org slash walk, where you can also get access to online forums, support groups, groundbreaking research findings, media resources, and more. And with that, we'll move on in a jam-packed Saturday edition of our video calendar here and look at the United Way Day of Caring also this Saturday morning. In fact, all of these events take place in the morning, uh, despite how they're stacked up here. It's just that jam-packed of a Saturday. All right, so uh, we'll jump uh, ahead in the schedule here, talking about this year's Day of Caring from United Way of Wyndham County, just set to kick off with an opening breakfast at the American Legion in Brattleboro at 8 a.m. on Saturday. Uh, as the area branch of the nationwide nonprofit looks to pair local volunteers with community projects. This year's efforts projected to total more than 10 grand in labor services from 100 volunteers in 20 area communities. With that, I'll take my green screen pointing skills here to the next level by gesturing wildly to our next item uh, on this Saturday, this year's Puppets in Paradise Performance Weekend from the world-renowned Sand Glass Theater in Putney, Vermont. Now, Puppets in Paradise, or PIP as the hipsters call it, runs from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. both Saturday and Sunday, bringing you two full days of puppetry and performance, all in the enchanted garden setting of landscape architects Gordon and Mary Hayward. That does it for another edition of our BCTV calendar here. Thanks for joining us, uh, but be sure to check in tomorrow at uh, 5.45 p.m. on BCTV Channel 8 
for our special 15-minute full broadcast of 545 Live, which will include clips from the calendar as well as all the local headlines, interviews, specials, uh, footage from this week's Brattleboro Select Board meeting, and plenty more. Again, tomorrow, 545 p.m. on BCTV Channel 8. All right, uh, that does it, I can tell, because the graphics are slipping away behind us. So if you haven't already, head to brattleborotv.org and find out how to subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter uh, to stay in touch with all of the, the community's happenings in video form. In the meantime, I'm Roland Boyden. Thanks for watching. <laughs>